video, we are going to review how to turn in an assignment. I am on the dashboard in the student view. I can see a list of my courses, or what we call course tiles, or course cards. I'm going to select my English 110 class, and depending on your instructor, you may see a link on the left that says assignments, or the assignments are housed in what's called modules. Within the modules, assignments have what looks like a piece of paper and a pencil. The instructor may or may not use the word assignment in the title, so it's best to go off of the image to determine if it is a content page, a discussion, an assignment, or a quiz. Over here on the right, you may notice a circle with a red line through it. That is because the due date has passed and this student had not turned it in. If we click on it, we will see here on the right that it was not turned in and that I received a grade of zero. When we are in the assignment page, the assignment details are along the top. It reflects the due date, and if an instructor has put a date when the assignment will no longer be available, that will be reflected as well. You will see the point value and how you may submit it. Instructors may choose to allow you to submit it using a text entry box, as a file upload, as a website link, or no submission. If you see the word no submission, that means the instructor is administering the assignment in class and is only using this assignment to reflect the grade in Canvas so that you may see it. When you are ready to submit assignment, click the Submit Assignment button. Depending on the options allowed by your instructor, you may choose to upload a file using the File Upload tab, type in your assignment submission using the text entry box, or attach a Google Doc embedded code or Dropbox. The most common are file upload or text entry. To attach your file, select the Choose File button and find the document that you would like to attach. You will see the file that you selected here on the right. If you need to add additional files, you can click the Add Another File button and continue to choose additional files. In the comment field, you can even provide additional information to your instructor. This was a tough assignment. And then click Submit Assignment to submit it. Once you have submitted the assignment, you will notice the submission details have changed on the right. It tells you that you have turned it in and the date you turned it in and whether or not it was late. You will also be able to see what you turned in and click on that link to view it if you would like. If you provided a comment, that would be reflected here as well. Canvas gives you the option to resubmit assignments, but be sure to review the requirements listed by your instructor because some instructors do not allow for resubmission. Now notice, this is week four assignment one. If we go into our grades, we can scroll down to that assignment and also see additional details here. It tells us the due date, what our score was, because we were late, and if there are any comments attached to the assignment. To see additional information, you can click on the assignment name and it will show you what, if anything, you have submitted and the comments attached to it. Be sure to check your Canvas regularly to stay on top of due dates. Thank you for watching this video on how to submit an assignment using Canvas at Imperial Valley College.